What's up, everybody? Welcome back to 30 and Life. So today we're about to react to this case. Uh, these three individuals who caught an attempted murder in Kona, Hawaii uh, for beating a security guard. Man, this case right here kind of touches home with me because, you know, as you all know, I went to prison and caught a 30 to life sentence for a fight in this same manner of this case. So, you know, we're going to watch this case together and then we'll break it down. I'll tell you all what I think about it. All right. So let's hop into this video real quick. But his life will never be the same. Family members of John Kanui described the struggles, pain, and constant care the former Kona Seaside Hotel security guard now endures after he was brutally attacked while on the job last September. These three individuals acted selfishly. They did not care whether my dad lived or died. They do not care how their actions have impacted our family. An emotional day in a Kona courtroom as a judge hands down the sentences for the three people involved in the brutal beating of a hotel security guard. For attempted murder, Natisha Tal Talatasi and Wesley Samoa got life terms with a chance of parole. Lama Lao Val got 10 years for assault. All three asked for, for forgiveness, but the victim's family said they are not ready. Our Ashi Nagaoka joins us now with more. Ash. The daughter of the victim, John Kanui, says the beating left her father a quadriplegic with a brain injury. The family says they're pleased each defendant received the maximum sentence, and while they hope to forgive them, they say today is not the day. When he lay lifeless on the cold pavement, the punches and kicks continued. It sickens me to think about it, even today. Damn. See, this is just a fight, but the victim is now a quadriplegic. And you hear what she just said, you know what I'm saying? Like it was it was something that just really just didn't have to go that far. He was on the ground already. Why did he have to keep getting punched and kicked? So this is what we are talking about. Let's find out what else happens though, real quick. So let's jump back into it. We are devastated, heartbroken, and angry that John's quality of life was robbed from him. <coughs> And us. When it was their turn to speak, Natisha Tautalatasi, Wesley Samoa, and Lama Lauvau each apologized to Kanui's loved ones. I take full responsibility, and um, my heart goes out to the family, especially Mr. Kanui. To the family, I'm very sorry, and I accept my um, I take full responsibility for my actions. I'm um, sorry for the pain and hurt. Y'all see the jury looking at them. Man, judged by 12, that's what's about to happen. So I'm not saying that I'm innocent because I'm guilty of something, but it's not attempted murder. He said, I'm not innocent. I'm guilty of something, just not attempted murder. Man, I feel for him, but at the same time, that's the thing. If you don't understand what you're doing, you don't understand the law, you know, that's why you don't need to be out there acting crazy. That's why I tell people all the time, you don't get it. Your actions can put your ass in the system for the rest of your life. So that's why I always tell y'all, man, just because you out there fighting and you don't think you're going, you know, you doing anything wrong or you think you, that you ain't doing something that's going to get you a lot of time, you know, that's because you don't know the law. And this dude, he obviously don't know the law. He's saying, I'm guilty of something, just not attempted murder. Well, when you punch and kick somebody while they're on the ground and, and, and continuously do that and they're not able to defend themselves, that's attempted murder. And if he would have died, it would have been manslaughter, you know. So that's what I tell you all, man. You better educate yourself. That way, you know, you ain't out there taking penitentiary chances. Let's finish the rest of this case. Um, sorry for the pain and hurt. So I'm not saying that I'm innocent because I'm guilty of something, but it's not attempted murder. Samoa's mother dropped to her knees, begging the judge to give her son, who is a father of six, a lighter sentence. Have mercy. Have mercy. I don't want to see my son in life in prison. Tao Talatasi also asked for leniency for her fiancé and his cousin. See, man, see, this is what I tell you guys about everyone suffers from the actions that you do you know you think that everything you do is on you but you got people who love you you got a mama 
You know, you got a dad, a sister, a brother or something, you know, family members that love you, wife, kids. You've seen in, in the background, the kids were crying, you know, all the family members are hurt. And then old boy's mama, she on the ground begging the judge to have mercy on her son. You know, man, I know none of y'all want your mom on the ground begging this judge to have mercy on you. You know what I mean? Like, and I know he didn't want his mama doing that, you know, but look at what our actions bring. It made moms so desperate for her son that she had to get down on the ground and beg the judge to have mercy on him. You know, it's just a sad situation. But here's the thing from the victim's perspective, you know, there was no mercy on their loved one. And so the whole situation's fucked up. You know, the victims, they lost their loved one. And now here it goes. Y'all about to go to prison for the rest of your life. So now your family got to miss you on Christmas, on Thanksgivings. You, you know what I'm saying? You ain't going to be sitting there at the table no more eating with them. All because you got drunk and you got angry and you got outside of your character. And now look, everyone's devastated in that courtroom. So let's finish this up. I think the judge about the sentence they asked. Have mercy. Have mercy. I don't want to see my son in life in prison. Tao Talatasi also asked for leniency for her fiancé and his cousin. She claims they believed Kanui was attacking her. They didn't understand what was happening. What they saw was that the female party of it was, was and being the, another half getting attacked. Didn't get the real story of it, what was really going on. None of us really remember what was going on. Today, all three of you can still walk on your own. All three of you can still eat on your own. And all three of you can still teach your children and talk to them. Mr. Kinoy cannot do any of these things on his own because of your actions on September 17, 2018. So there you have it. The judge said it. All three of y'all can still eat on your own. All three of y'all can still talk and teach your children on your own. See... This man, this victim, this man that got beat down like that, for the rest of his life, he's ruined. And I'm sure if they could take back what happened that night, they would. And when you hear her asking for mercy for the other two, it's true. Those other two jumped in it because they thought they was protecting her. But at the same time, they're just as guilty for kicking and hitting him while he was on the ground. But what she was saying about she don't remember what happened and most of them don't remember what happened that night. I could tell in the video that they was drunk as fuck. So when you're doing shit like that, you got anger issues, you stressing, whatever you're going through. And then you add some alcohol on top of that. You know, you just asking for trouble. You know what I'm saying? How many times we get drunk and we out there and we get in a fight and it's all because we feel in some type of way. Why do we even pick up the bottle? Why do we even pick up the bottle? It really ain't to have fun. You know what I mean? It's to drown our sorrows or to forget about our problems. And that's what I was telling y'all about facing our problems. Because if we don't face them, then we don't know how to handle shit. And then we blow up just like this. That poor dude was laying on the ground getting beat to death. It's a good thing, God bless, that he didn't die. But still, he's a paraplegic now. And like the judge said, he can't feed or teach his children. He can't do nothing. So, you know, this, this person, he's got to suffer for the rest of his life. So I don't know. Tell me what y'all think in the comments, man. And if you want more videos like this. And like I said, you want to avoid shit like this? You know what it is. Stay the fuck out of trouble.